Hi everybody, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of four books, host of two PBS specials. Here today to talk about a subject that I call knowing when to stop. And by the way, if you saw the uh, picture of the Southwest Airlines plane seemingly crashing into a hangar, i.e. not knowing when to stop, I kind of made that look that way. I'm a big fan of Southwest. I fly them all the time. And I love their customer service and I love their organization. So I wouldn't want to imply that they didn't know when to stop. I think, however, we sometimes don't know when to stop. For instance, when we're eating, sometimes we just eat until we can't eat anymore. We're not sure when to stop. When we are tired, we push through that and work and work and work and work, not really knowing when to stop. When we're talking to someone and we're wanting to create an agreement, sometimes we just talk and talk and talk and talk, not knowing when to stop. And I think if we could pay attention to that signal in so many ways, we could create the life we want. We could be more successful in creating the life we want. You see, I think our body will give us some wonderful signals around eating and rest. When we are tired, <laughs> that's our body giving us a signal that it's time to stop, it's time to rest. When we are no longer hungry, that's our bodies giving us a signal that we want to stop eating. When we are wanting to talk with someone, notice the tendency to need to convince them of something. Whenever we're in that convincing mode and trying to Im kind of impose our ideas on someone else, we can see from how they're reacting to us, from their, their facial expression, from their body language, whether they're really open and curious about what we're saying or whether they're hearing it as criticism or something they need to either defend or argue against. I'm going to suggest we just pay more attention to those signals of asking ourselves, is this a good time to stop? Would I recommend this time to someone I love? If I saw someone I loved in the exact same situation, would I help them stop at this particular perspective? And of course, for those of you who follow my life from the top of the mind perspective, you know that really stopping is not so much the issue, it's really about starting. So when we stop talking, we start listening. When we stop doing, we start resting. When we stop eating, we start allowing our body to digest the food in a comfortable way. So I'm going to encourage you to consider that as you go forward and think about creating the life you want. When is paying attention to those signals something you would recommend for someone you love? Hope you found this valuable. For those of you who would like to learn more about my philosophy of life from the top of the mind, you can go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com. Here you can hit the subscribe button, and each week I will send you one of my favorite quotes, along with two or three paragraphs about how to apply that quote to our lives, along with a free video. And on the first page of the site, you can put your name and email address, and I will send you four free videos about this new perspective of actually accessing the qualities and characteristics you want to access by accessing a very specific part of the brain and avoiding that stress and frustration and resentment and anger and depression that sometimes gets in the way of us bringing our best to life by avoiding a very specific part of the brain. Also, if you want me to come and do a uh, create a presentation for your organization around this, I would be happy to do that. Again, just hit the contact button, and I would be happy to see you then. In the meantime, here is to you, bringing more clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you do, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.